Hello, uh, this is uh, Mike, and I wanted to kind of go over this uh, project I've been working on. Um, I'm going to go and kind of show it here real quick. Um, you can run it yourself. I'm just refreshing the page, so it's going to take a second to load here. I'm going to hide my screen recorder software. Okay, uh, the first thing you might notice is I'm running on a Chromebook here, so this is a really, um, this is really just kind of like an interesting thing. You can run this inside your web browser on a Chromebook. Uh, now, of course, the software is running in a Docker off on the internet someplace. In this particular case, I'm running it locally on a, on my local little server here, but it could be out in the cloud. Um, basically, uh, let me just, uh, start up here from scratch. I'm gonna, uh, close that out. And, uh, I'm just gonna come up here and hit new, and here we are. So, uh, you got your workbench drop down. Um, these can be, each workbench can be configured. Um, so if, for example, I go and I start a sketch, the sketch workbench um, gets certain tool groups. Um, if I go to edit icons here, we got to give it a second here to load. You'll see all these pink um, tool groups. Those are all ones that have been excluded Um, it takes a second for all the icons to load. FreeCAD has a lot of icons. Um, basically you have the, uh, the listing over here of all of the commands that FreeCAD has. Um, some of them have the icon matched up with them. Um, and that was basically all the ones that, um, FreeCAD was nice and had them named exactly as they are um, in the workbench. Uh, some of them uh, either don't have an icon file, in which case you'll see the little arrow here, um, or the icon file need to be manually linked up. So like if I wanted to add a, uh, an item to my sketch primitives thing, I just scroll down here until I got to the area where we have sketch stuff. Okay. Um, so if I wanted to go and add something here, I can, uh, I can just go and drag and uh, drop the icon out here. Uh, if I click on the icon, um, either here or here. Um, it lets me change stuff like the tooltip and whatnot, so I could change that. I could also go and pick a different icon file. So in this particular case, um, I'm going to change it back afterwards, but uh, let's see, let me find the sketch icons. There we are. Okay, so I'm going to change it to something else. So if I hit save, You'll see that the icon file updated in the toolbar and over here. Um, I'm going to change it back to what it was. Um, give it a second. It should. There we are. Okay. Um, you got some different options here. Um, you can move the tool groups left and right. Um, like I can move that one over there or move the tool group. I can move the icons around inside a tool group, um, left and right. I can remove an icon from a tool group. Um, I can rename tool groups or um, exclude them from a particular workbench. Um, so like right now, these tool groups are all excluded from the sketch uh, workbench. If I bring up the icon editor, 
um, I could see them. And if I wanted to include it in the in that particular workbench, I can just go in here and toggle exclude. And uh, now we see that it's there. And if I right click here and I do toggle exclude, it goes away. Okay. Um, so that is the that is the toolbar configuration stuff. Um, we have a file manager. So uh, there's a little refresh button up here. Um, so let's just say I go and I, I draw something real quick. Um, let's go and extrude that. If I go and I save this, and I just save it as something. If I go into the file manager and hit refresh, you'll see that that FreeCAD file is right there and you can download it, um, which is pretty handy. And you can upload files from here. You can just choose a file and uh, upload it. Um, let's see, let me go grab a FreeCAD file. Uh, send. Okay, so now that's uploaded. If I go to open, uh, I got this other file here. And open. Boom. Look at that. That's another file I just uploaded. Um, we have a Python console here. Um, so this will do some stuff. Um, It also shows you the free cat log file, so you can kind of see what's going on there and do some debugging. Um, if I go and I switch my workbench, let's switch it to the, uh, I don't know, some other workbench. Let's change it to the draft workbench. Um, so right now, these are, I don't have any tool groups set up for this and except for kind of like the standard ones and I excluded out all the other ones. So um, basically there's, there's a bunch of work that needs to be done as far as configuring the toolbars and stuff and the tool groups um, for the different workbenches, but that can all happen over time. Um, so yeah, this is all running inside the web browser. Um, on Google Chrome, it's kind of weird. You can't use the two um, mouse buttons at the same time in order to do the, the spin and rotation. So in order to spin uh, the model, just hold down the shift key and then hit right click and just click once with the right click. And then uh, it'll spin. And then as soon as you let go of shift, it'll stop spinning. Um, the way that you get this whole thing started, um, basically you can go to the GitHub uh, page for it, which is linked uh, in this uh, form post here. Um, you're going to run these commands. So if you don't have Docker installed, you're going to install Docker. Um, and then you're going to, uh, you're going to clone down this directory. Um, and once it's cloned, you can go into that directory and run the, uh, the, the build script, which will build it for you. Um, so this is what happens when you run the build script. It just runs through and does a whole bunch of stuff. Um, something else that it does when it runs the build script is it starts up a, a little IDE. Um, so this is the, um, um I'm going to just change the setting here. There we are. Um, so this is, uh, the cloud nine IDE, um, it basically, it's a IDE that runs inside your web browser and lets you um, uh, edit stuff. And basically, I have it set up for this project, so 
I can work on it on my Chromebook because um, I, I work in a web only environment and that's kind of my goal with this whole thing is to have FreeCAD in a web only kind of environment. Um, so it ran that build script. Um, you can see it just ran through all the different kinds of stuff. Um, this will take a lot longer the first time you build it because it has to pull all the dependencies and stuff. But once it's uh, built a few times, um, it only updates the, the layers that have changed. So uh, that's kind of cool about Docker. Uh, and if I hit refresh, here we are. It's uh, reconnecting to the server because it basically it, it killed the server and then did the build again. And here we are. We can see the whole thing. Okay. Well, I am going to go and get some sleep now. But uh, I've been having some real fun building this and uh, would definitely like to... Uh, collaborate with some folks if they're interested in also working on this. Okay, thank you.